Hi guys, it's New Jersey Garden. We're in zone 6A in New Jersey. Today I have a few garden tasks to complete and one of them is pruning this rose bush. This is called a knockout rose and every spring, generally around the end of April, I go in and prune this pretty close um, to the ground, maybe a foot or two off the ground because I like keeping my rose bush on the smaller side and it grows really really quickly um, and you can prune your knockout roses throughout the summer and get individual um, flushes of blooms throughout the summer if you want but I tend to just prune in late April or early May or and then again I prune in after the, the blooms fade you know in July I prune again and I usually get another flush of blooms um, throughout the plant at the end of the summer so I just pruned this two times so as you can see it looks really scraggly and there are some dead branches in here and I'm just gonna go in and prune and I'll show you um, what it looks like when I'm finished pruning I did want to mention that when I prune my rose bush or anytime I weed around it I wear safety goggles because these thorns are really sharp and I also wear leather gloves when handling um, the rose bush. So here's the finished product. There are a lot of um, branches missing sort of in the left rear of the plant. Um, I had to cut them out because they were dead. So hopefully one of the um, branches that's alive will extend some, some buds over to the left side to fill that space in. But it does look a lot healthier. I got rid of a lot of the dead branches and any crossing branches. And um, it should bloom really nicely in a few weeks. Another project I worked on today was clearing some of the weeds and branches that were left over from last summer's flower bed here. I had some cut flowers growing. I had a lot of Gloriosa daisies, some cornflower, some sunflowers, and some dahlia growing in here. And this year it looks like we have a little cornflower that popped up along with a lot of Gloriosa Daisy. So I'll be thinning this bed out and I'll be making room for some vegetables as well. I do plant a few vegetables on my deck every year, but I think this year I'm going to try to plant some directly in the ground here. And I'm, I put up fencing last year and I'll show you guys my fencing method to keep out the deer. We live in a really um, highly a high deer population area and I have to fence in this garden bed and I have to spray a lot of my lilies and other flowers including the roses for um, you know for I spray this deer repellent on it to keep away the deer so I'll be showing you this bed as I clear it out and as I plant. I have some other garden projects to complete and I will be transplanting these little seedlings this weekend. I have some portulaca right here that was, um, these were seeds given to me by Rachel from the Rustic Farmhouse. And I just planted those over the winter in my basement and they're ready to transplant. Actually these have been ready to transplant for a while, I just, I'm just now getting to it. Um, back here I had a little bit of, we had too much rain when I was away. So I lost some of the seedlings that I had. Um, I had them sitting outside while I was away. Um, they were tiny. Um, just the timing of when I planted them in the, the basement wasn't great. So I did lose some seedlings, but I still have some blanket flower seedlings, some lupine seedlings, as well as a lot of um, black-eyed Susan. So I'll be planting these seedlings in that square garden bed this weekend and I'll show you guys um, how they develop. Now this is a garden bed that's in front of my house. I have a little narrow rectangular garden bed in front of the house and there's a lot of weeds so I do have to do a lot of weeding but sometimes I wait a little while for these seedlings to pop up. I have a lot of alyssum and ageratum seedlings in here that will get big in a short period of time so I sort of wait for those to get bigger before I start weeding this area. There's also some morning glory coming up here from prior years. I always get a patch of morning glory here. So we had a lot of rain over the last month so I will be doing a lot of weeding 
over the weekend. Another project for this summer is growing some vegetables and I had planted these cucumber seedlings about a month ago but they really haven't uh, grown all that much because we've had a lot of really cold temperatures and rain. We've had a lot of nights in the 40s and cucumbers really prefer hot weather so they're just starting to develop their first true set of leaves and I'll be transplanting these into both um, that square garden bed that I showed earlier along with a, plant, a bigger planter that I have for the deck. These are bok choy seedlings and there's a little bit of borage that I planted here. Borage is an annual flower that attracts a lot of bees and it's a nice companion plant for cucumber. So I planted a combination of borage with the bok choy in here and it looks like mostly the bok choy has popped up. So I'll be transplanting this directly in the garden as, as well as the large planter that I mentioned. And over here I just have some more cucumber seedlings. So I'm excited to get to work and I have a lot of weeding to do and I'll show you guys a garden tour in the next few days to show you what's, um, what the garden looks like, even though there's not a whole lot in bloom, but I'll, be, I'll do a tour anyway. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing.